Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, in a few days uh, from now, on the 29th, we will be celebrating 10 years of Windows 10. 10 years of an operating system that now is at the end of the road. We're getting end of support. And um, an operating system that has come to be loved, um, I believe, that people now are, you know, there were some Windows standards over time that people just couldn't get away from. And uh, Windows XP was one. Uh, Windows 7 became one. Uh, Windows 10 is now at that status where people just love it. It works, it does what they need, and um, it had a lot of, you know, new things, a milestone, and the way Microsoft changed how all of it worked. But there are things that were promised at the beginning, on the first weeks and months of Windows 10, way back in 2015, that were never realized. One of them, famous control panel. How many times over the last 10 years did I have people ask me, when is the control panel eventually going to go away and, you know, be all of it be implemented in the settings app? And although there is an advancements and a lot of things are in the, in the settings app now, and let's be, let's face it, I, I personally am there. I rarely need to go to the control panel anymore for anything. Um, the main settings that I search for are all implemented within the settings app. But still, one of the first uh, things that were mentioned in the Insider program was how eventually control panel will, would go away. And all of that will be in the settings uh, there were people mentioning how it was confusing to have two different places to go to get settings and to change things. And, well, we're here 10 years later, and the control panel is still there, although a lot of settings have moved to, to, uh, to the settings app from the control panel. Tons of things are still here. Tons of things are still within the control panel. So that's part of, you know, all of it works. That's part of what this uh, system is all about. And um, they just never went to, there was way too many things, I guess, to go through. And they just focused on what what's more important. What would you want to bring to the settings app? Uh, that people use the most. And I think that they succeeded to some point. But, uh, yep, yeah, it's uh, still here. And it's still in Windows 11. And it doesn't show signs of going away anytime soon. So one of the promises that uh, Windows 10 had, getting rid of control panel never really happened. And... Uh, we still have two settings, even in the latest Windows. And I suspect that if we do get a Windows 12 next year, we'll still have a control panel in it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.